Hello and welcome to another video. Yes, you might have noticed the shot is a little tiny bit different today and that is because today I am undertaking the very, very difficult and very, very strenuous task of reorganizing my bookshelf. But no, this isn't the only bookshelf I have. This is bookshelf number one, bookshelf number two, and then over there we have bookshelf number three and bookshelf number four. So, as you can see, that's a lot of bookshelves to reorganize. And why am I doing this? Because I am bored and because I wanted to make some non-Percy Jackson content. So, that's basically all of my reasoning. Let me show you my sketch, my plans, because I did plan ahead. I don't, I don't know where I put it, wait. Found it! So, this is the plan for today. What do you guys think? It's beautiful, obviously. Bookshelf number one, number two, number three, and number four. The shelf that I'm most excited about is having a shelf designated specifically to my favorites because right now that shelf is for sci-fi and the one on top of it is for fantasy. So I've really liked having them separated by genre, but right now I just want to see all my favorite series together and then the rainbow ones got to pretty much stay the same and I'm going to put the leftovers on this one like they basically are right now. And then here are my comics and my albums. I'm gonna have a shelf just for like the nostalgia series. And I'm really excited for that one as well. Let's get into it. First step, taking everything off. So I just finished the first step and that was taking all of the trinkets I forgot my snow globes. Well, that was basically taking all of the trinkets from the bookshelf and putting them here. And as you can see, there's a whole lot of them. So it was tough. So next step, the books. So as you can see, it's basically all done. I didn't take those books off because I want to keep the rainbow one there. And I might make some adjustments like adding books or changing the order, but that's definitely gonna stay there. And then my Cassandra Clare one, I might change the order of the books a bit, but that's going to be there. And then the mangas, I just left the ones that are that I know are going to stay there. So basically, these are all the books that I have to now rearrange and reorganize. And yes, I don't have any floor space, which is great and definitely not a tripping hazard. In an effort to get more floor space, I have basically barricaded myself in my room. <sighs> okay, time to tackle my other two shelves. I had to take a short break, eat some bread because I felt like I was going to faint. That being said, everything is basically on the ground. I've started reorganizing those shelves, which are going to be easier because there's just like going to be moving things around. And now I'm going to clean my shelves because there's probably a lot of dust and dirt on there. So let's go do that. So as you probably saw just now, I lowered this shelf a bit just because I wanted to be a bit higher just in case I want to put a bigger book in here and just so it looks more balanced overall because this one was way too high. So yeah, now that they're all nice and clean, it's time to start putting books back on them. Oh, wish me luck. Does it look good? There's something just so soothing about sitting on the ground, being surrounded by your books. There's no other feeling like it except the feeling of dread that you get when you realize that now you have to reorganize all those books. First shelf done and I'm so happy it fits almost perfectly. And it even has the perfect spot to put Heartstopper Volume 4 when it comes to my house. So I am so happy with this one and I can't believe it fits so well. One down, a thousand to go. So these two shelves are about done. I placed my 17 albums here and put their debut album on display. Then like the shorter ones there, the taller ones down here because that shelf is so much higher. Oh my God. I just noticed that I didn't, I lowered this one 
but I didn't lower this one. So now, now my shelves don't match. My OCD will not allow this. So give me a second while I change everything. Now they're on the same level. I can rest now, but at the same time I can't because I've only done a couple of shelves, so <laughs> let's go. Okay, so I'm not saying I miscalculated and underestimated the amount of Rick Riordan books I own. But I am saying that I underestimated the amount of Rick Riordan books I own. It's at this point that I just think that maybe this was a bad idea and that I shouldn't have started doing this, but um, can't have any regrets now. I just have to go through with it and then I guess I can redo everything off camera. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm liking this one. Let's focus on this one. Look at how pretty they are. Yay. Okay, so I finished my first whole shelf and I'm very happy this one was by far the smallest and the easiest of all. But let, let me have this, guys. Let me have this one win. Okay, so the whole like top half of these bookshelves are done and I'm actually kind of digging it. So now I just have that. To be honest, I had to take like an hour long break because I thought I was going to faint or puke. So <laughs> we're back at it. <laughs> Wish me luck, because I need it now more than ever. Okay, so these two shelves are basically done and I'm really happy actually with how they turned out. I was too lazy to change anything in the Cassandra Clare section, but I know I'm just gonna add books like in a year or two, so that's fine. But yeah, basically the last two, this one, it's not like reject books actually, it's just like series that didn't, belong up there but that just like ha don't have matching covers so they're down here and I have some space for new ones I have space for new ones there and there so that makes me really happy and I just really like this top half wait this top it's just really nice so now that that's done I'm just gonna place all the little trinkets back on there and focus on that shelf which still needs some work done because look at I, I couldn't even sit on my bed if I wanted to. So it is officially more than four hours after I started it. And guys, remember how I said that I was feeling a bit dizzy under the weather? Well, I had lunch and that didn't fix anything. But then I was like, maybe sugar. So I had some Haribo and now I'm feeling like a hundred times better. So guys, don't forget that a little bit of sugar makes your day and helps you not faint. So... Keep that in mind, especially on a day where you've worked out. So don't forget to have your sugar. But basically, I'm already done with my shelves. Um, so yeah, some thoughts on this whole experience. I nearly died, but then Haribo saved my life. So that's great. Obviously not sponsored. I wish I was. But okay, let's go through my bookcases and see what I think of this outcome. But before I show you guys the end result, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help my channel. And let's go check out the finished product. So let's start with my number one bookshelf. And the first shelf we have there, it's basically my favorites or my favorite book covers and my favorite looking series. So basically all of those are identical to what was there in the first place so I'm really happy with how that turned out. I moved my monkeys up there and I have my Percy Jackson sword so I'm also pretty happy about that. Then the next shelf is basically my favorite series and the knickknacks are basically all the same but I'm really happy I made some space for my penguin with his beautiful blue sombrero and yeah I like every series up there maybe not so much the shadow and bone one but you know I love that world, so there's that. And then the next one, we have a shelf dedicated to Rick Wright Orden. It was very packed before, so I had to take a few things away, such as the King Chronicles and some of the special 
companion novels, but I'm really happy how this turned out. And then we have my rainbow shelf, which is basically pretty much the same. I just added some books and then took some away to put it on the TBR pile and place the trinkets so they are in the same color order as the books. And then we have my Cassandra Clare shelf, which is basically the same. It just... <laughs> It looks so dull and empty, so I'm thinking I maybe should place something else there. And the last shelf basically is some series that I do like and that I would reread, but I don't like enough to keep up there. And yeah, let's move on to shelf number two. I think I pretty much summed this bookshelf up before so I don't think there's anything else to say I'm just really glad that it turned out well I like that these two just the whole series just fills one up very nicely and I'm worried about when that one gets longer because it's going to be more than 30 volumes definitely so I still have some room there so basically what I'm thinking is just taking out my Teen Wolf and DVD shelf and just using that for more manga but for now that's not a problem so <laughs> I don't have to think about it yet and lastly we have bookshelf number four which is unfortunately my least favorite bookshelf simply due to the fact that it's right next to my bed so it's completely hidden like under that you can see those like you don't know how hard it was to film the last shelf and you can probably not see very well but Let's talk about it. So basically, this is where I went more off the book. Haha, <laughs> yes, pun intended. And I actually decided that I wasn't going to have enough room in what I would originally planned. So instead of putting the nostalgia shelf in the middle where you would not be able to see it from anywhere in the room but the bed, I decided to put it on top because, you know, that's also another shelf and it deserves to be used. So there's my nostalgia shelf. I'm really happy about it. And yeah, it just makes me really nostalgic for all the books that basically BookTube made me buy. And then we have my comic books, and then a few graphic novels, adaptation of novels, and we have our beautiful Kwanlin, and my Astro, The Boys, and 101 albums, plus some magazines that have very pretty Wonder Woman or Spider-Man covers. And then we have more books in the next shelf that are basically just rejects that I would not read again. So uh, then we have Snoopy. And then we have a weird assortment of books that I find aesthetically pleasing by themselves, but altogether look pretty bad. And lastly, our third shelf is my rejects shelf and my classic shelf. I haven't even tried to separate them between classics and rejects. I'm just too lazy and it's too hard to get to. So that's that. Yes, so that is it. That was me reorganizing my four bookshelves in my room. I am absolutely exhausted, but I don't know if you can tell, but throughout this video, after having the Haribo, I now feel super great and a little bit hyper, so that might be just a sugar rush coming in. I'm really not looking forward to the sugar crush after it. But yeah, basically, uh, leave a like if you like this video. Please comment down below which is your favorite bookshelf and which shelf do you think deserved better because uh, there's a few of them uh, in here. And yeah. Yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already click that bell button so you get notifications every time i post a new video i post videos twice a week so that's every monday and friday and i guess i'll see you guys next time bye